Alright, what's going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, you've seen the title, we're doing another tackle warehouse unboxing. Um, yeah, basically I wanted this year to really skill up my hard bait game. I use a lot of soft plastics as you guys see. I use some bigger hard baits for pike, but I really wanted to get into cranks and stuff like that. A bit more for the perch and chub and stuff like that. So, yeah, placed a big order at Tackle Warehouse in America. Uh, I think it was around £200 and 60 quid in pod duties, so there's a fair amount in here. Um, can't remember what I've actually ordered because it was like three weeks ago, it's been stuck in customs for ages. But yeah, finally we've got it. And uh, yeah, we're going to see what it is. I know there's a lot of Yozuri stuff because a lot of that was on sale. But uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, I think I ordered some like JDM stuff, some, you know, American domestic market stuff as well. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. I'm um, just going to point out, uh, last time I did a Tackle Warehouse unboxing, some people were like, oh, another sponsored video. Um, why would an American bass fishing shop want to sponsor a small English YouTube channel? Um, yeah, the only company I work with is LMAB, as I'm sure most of you guys know. Um, don't work with any other fishing companies, or any other companies at all for that matter. So yeah, this is all purchased. Um, I just make these videos because I find them interesting, seeing what other people buy. Um, so yeah, I figured other people would find them interesting. So yeah, enough waffling and we're going to get into this. Um, yeah. Do it quite chill today, we're not tearing into it or anything. Slice our way in. Okay, took the address off for the money shot, so... M -m 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 oh, that's not that interesting, is it? Money shot. So... Let's see, oh, this is stacked with cranks. Oh, <laughs> crankbaits, jerkbaits, that is stuff. Oh, oh yes. I, I, well, honestly, I, like I said, I forgot what I've ordered, but this is exciting now. Whew, there's a lot of stuff. Like, the reason I ordered from Papa Warehouse is even with import duties, oops, no, not my camera over. Even with import duties, the baits are a lot cheaper than they are over here. So, like, the average price I've paid is sort of like seven dollars for a crank, which is about well, fiver. Whereas over here they're about twelve quid each. So yeah, two hundred and seventy dollars everything in this box cost, and I paid sixty-ish pound in pot duties. So yeah, about two hundred and sixty pound altogether. So yeah, we're gonna get right into it. Let's see what we've got. First thing, seeing it's on top, we got a tackle warehouse hat. Um, this was free. I think if you spend over a certain amount, you get a free hat. So why not put it to the biggest setting? Because I have a big head. Oh, American hats must be uh, bigger than ones over here. But yeah, that fits all right, actually, that one. So tackle warehouse hat. Start things off. Looking cool. <laughs> right, let's get into these baits. Um, there's a lot to get through, so I'm just running through them quite quick and explain why I bought each one. So, first thing, this is a Baker's Lure Popper. Quite a small size popper, that one. Two and a half inch, quarter ounce. This is, you know, it's a panfish popper for Americans, but what I wanted for is perch chub. Maybe even a trout tape on that size, but yeah, perch and chub mainly with that. So, yeah, nice little popper. Next thing, this is a wake, ooh, this looks juicy this. This is a dual hardcore floating wake bait. As you can see, it's jointed, it's lit. It's got a little blade at the back, it's got a blade at the front. This is a JDM, it's all in Japanese on the back and everything. But yeah, that is an awesome looking bait. We're gonna do some springtime pike fishing with this, you know. Like, a lot of these baits I've bought because it's something that pike will not have seen before, you know. Um, some some venues, you, you need something a little bit different that the fish haven't seen, and uh, yeah. They've not seen that. It's got three trebles on it, so we'll get rid of one of those, but um, yeah, I'm excited to use that. That looks super cool. It's not a huge bait, but yeah, it's a nice looking bait. Right, two baits down. Let's see what else we've got. I want to do another big bait. This is this is really big. Wow, this is probably the biggest bait in the, <laughs> in the box. This is um, Chase Baits Prop Duster. 
Look at that beast. That is thick. Um, yeah, I've wanted one of these for ages. Like, I did the video with the Chase Bait Budgie. Um, probably two years ago, really, now. Uh, ever since like, I discovered Chase Bait, I've, I've always wanted one of these. So this has huge gauge hooks, but yeah, big, deep body, single jointed glide bait. And it has this sort of a buzz blade in the middle, which obviously will create a ton of disturbance in the water. You know, big profile, so over here that's going to be, you know, skimmer bream, roach. These hooks are sharp, but they've got such a thick gauge, so I probably would change those out. I don't really like thick gauged hooks for pipe fishing, but yeah, there we go. Third bait, Chase Bait's Prop Duster. This one goes, so this is 200 mil and 110 gram. So it's, yeah, it's a big old glide bait. I didn't realize it was that big when I uh, ordered it, but yeah, that's cool. As long as that works nicely, that'll, uh, that'll catch for some fish though. It's got four times strong hooks, so yeah, like I say, I'll take those off. Um, yeah, we're gonna do a video with this this year anyway, so yeah, I look forward to that. I might actually go out with that tomorrow, try to film something. But yeah, Chase Bench Prop Duster. That's so good. Next, we've got a few cranks. We're gonna whiz through these. These 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 cranks are more for perch fishing. Um, most of them for shallow waters. I've got a few deeper ones, so we'll just whiz through them quickly. Six cents curve. Finesse square bill, this is 55 mil and diving depth of one to three meters. So yeah, very shallow, which is what I want it for. Obviously that'll be good for chub and stuff as well, but it's mainly for perch fishing. Got a lot of the Yozeri ones. Um, Yozeri 3DR, a lot of these 3D ones are on sale, like I said. Um, so this is a little crank. This is 50 mil, 8.5 grams. Looks like it's quite a bit of a diver this one. Yeah, dives to six foot, so nice. Sort of not too deep, not too shallow. Nice little crank. Yeah, I'm gonna get all these Yozeri ones out because these, like I said, most of these were half price, which is why I bought them. Right, so I think this is all the Yozeris I've got. Uh, there could be some more, but uh, we'll go through these quick. A another 3DR. This is a shallow crank, 70 mil. This one, so it's a little bit bigger. Crawfish, 16 gram, 70 mil. And this one dives to three to five foot. So yeah, again, a nice size for your uh, canals and stuff like that. Another 3D I shad. This one's more of a jerk bait, more of a deep run of this one. Six foot, um, 10 gram, 70 mil. So yeah, suspending jerk bait. Can't beat a suspending jerk bait. I love them. Don't use them enough. This is a, yo, I can't remember ordering this. This is a 90, mill prop bait so it's sort of like a spy bait but it's not a spy bait it's just got one prop on the back so yeah a little bit of a new unique thing that the perch won't have seen before pike chub whatever i want to throw it for bass i'd imagine that would work for as well um but yeah that's cool man made in the philippines i imagine this will run really shallow as well um patented bait in japan so yeah cool just a bunch more of the um, jerks. So we've got the shad and the minnow that have the same bait pattern. Again, jerk bait, uh, 70 mil, both of them. The minnow's seven gram, and the shad is 10 gram. Um, looks like that shad's a bit of a deeper diver as well. Six foot max, so it's not that deep actually. They've got quite big bills on them though. So yeah, another couple of those, those Yozeri ones. Um, I've got a really deep crank, this is for the reses. Um, it says 12 to 15, but we should be able to get that down a bit deeper than that with that massive bill on it. 21 grams, 70 mil, so yeah, there's a big crank, some big perch, that one. Again, similar pattern, it's the same 3D series. This is a wake bait though, so this doesn't dive at all. This is pretty much a, um, almost a surface layer to be fair. It'll, it'll go slightly under, but yeah, that's awesome. I wanted to experiment a bit more with wake baits and stuff as well because you know not a lot of people are using them over here and same bait different color but the smaller version so that'll be perfect for sort of any size perch chub stuff like that so yeah 50 mil 8.5 gram and again zero to 0.5 foot so i think that's all the yozeri stuff got some these are a bit random um 
These are wacky hooks, weighted wacky hooks, uh, one sixteenth ounce, which is about one and a one point eight gram ish, something like that. Um, so yeah, not much more to say about it. And they're for wacky rigging, um, which is basically where you sit the hook in the middle of a soft plastic, um, you know, uh, stick bait sort of thing. So yeah, that's again something I want to experiment a bit with this year. You can't really get these over in this country, which is why I ordered them from America. Uh, weed guard on these. So yeah, should be alright to fish in some of the uh, heavy cover and stuff like that. So here we go then. I think that's like the only bit of terminal tackle I've ordered because uh, most of it is literally just cranks and stuff. Um, next, now this is a bit I really wanted to try. Um, this is probably one of the more expensive baits as well. Yeah, so this was $14, which is still probably cheaper than most cranks and stuff over here. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to try it out. This is a spy bait. Uh, if you don't know what spy bait is, I'll get it out of the box. It's it's designed for pressured bass. Um, bit of a different action. It doesn't have much of an action to the body, but it's got these propellers at the front and back here, um, which, you know, kick off water and stuff like that. So yeah, nice little minnow profile there. Something a bit different. Obviously the profile's the same, but heavy rattle as well on that, geez. <laughs> but um, yeah, the spy bait, the noise it makes, the subtle action that it'll have, hopefully, you know, that'll draw us some pressure fish. So yeah, that's a duo spy bait. You know, run, you can count them down basically. So they run at whatever depth you want them to run at. Um, so yeah, nice little spy bit there. It feels heavy, so I think it'll sink quite quick. Um, but yeah, I imagine we'll get some nice strikes on that on pauses and stuff like that. Just have to keep it off snags. Um, <laughs> we got to, like I say, quite an expensive little bait. Made in Japan, which is why it was a bit more expensive. So yeah, it's basically made for targeting suspending bass. So, you know, suspending perch, suspending chub, suspending pike, suspending zander. Sea bass, I mean that's like a bit of a finesse um, presentation for, you know, some sea bass and stuff like that, so yeah, spy bait, that's something I really want to try, hopefully I don't lose it straight away because I only bought one, like I said it's quite expensive, um, but yeah, I'm excited for that one. Next, we got another big glider, this is a dual hardcore ninja glider, 180 mil, so 18 centimetre bait, and that comes in at 75 grams, so it's not the biggest glide bait. Um, this isn't the colour that I actually wanted as well. The one I ordered was out of stock, so they sent me just like a random colour because I couldn't be bothered waiting for it to come, on, come in on back order. Um, but yeah, it looks nice. So yeah, pretty standard size bait. Um, it looks like it's going to have a bit of a tight glide with that, so it'll probably work that with the rod tip a little bit. Um, so yeah, dual hard card. Pretty sure this is under the Ozeri brand as well. Uh, like I said, um, camera just turned itself off for some reason. But uh, yeah, this was half price as well as the uh, Ozeri cranks and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited to use this. Um, very very tight glide, but yeah, work on the rod tip. We've got a soft tail on this, which is always a nice touch, and it comes with a spare tail as well. Quite a nice flat head on it. If you can see that there, um, we should push water as well. So yeah, um, probably do a video just fishing with this. I do like a bit of glide bait fishing, silent bait as well. So yeah, there's the other big bait. I don't think I ordered. I want. I really, really wanted to um, order a lot of the big American glide baits, but they are so expensive. Like this this was really, really cheap, um, like twenty dollars something like that. Um, Whereas a lot of them are like 80, 90, 150 dollars. So yeah, I, I am uh, not paying that for one bait, unfortunately. I mean, probably will occasionally. So yeah, that's the other big bait. Um, the rest of the stuff is more smaller. We've got a few more floats. Uh, again, like these were free, I'm pretty sure anyway. Um, so yeah, just a t-shirt. Tackle Warehouse t-shirt and a, I think it's a long sleeve t-shirt. Yeah, big old long sleeve t-shirt there. 
So there we go, I'll tackle where our stuff. These are American size, they're really thick. Bigger than, bigger than what we have over here. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're on to the last bits now. Um, tackle where our sticker. Let's see, what have we got, what have we got? We've got some more jewel baits, so again, Yoziri is the mother company, I think. Hardcore cranks. I've got a deep one and a really shallow one, but they have got such a nice finish on those. Got a beautiful finish on that. That's that's gonna draw some attention. That nice gold, little rud impersonation sort of uh, bait there. Oh, yeah, they look really nice. Nice rail to them. Yeah, so this one dives to about 4.2 meters, which again probably good on the reservoirs and stuff like that. And this one is 1.1, so yeah, more of a canal bait, but. I'm excited to use those. So there's one of the dual ones. This is a jerk bait. This is a reaction strike XRM80. So yeah, just a standard little jerk bait there. Decent looking bait, nothing special, but uh, yeah, always nice to have a few jerk baits in the box. Um, I really do like a bit of jerk bait fishing and uh, ones around this size, perfect for your perch and your chub and even your pike and stuff like that. So there we go, a little jerk. Right, I've got a live, I'm sure I ordered quite a few of these live target ones, but I've only got one. So yeah, live target yellow perch. Um, this is a jerk bait as well. Quite a shallow one as well, one to two foot depth. Um, 73 mil, 11 gram, so yeah, quite a big one for perch. Well, perch will nail, nail a bait this size, no problem. But yeah, nice realistic profile and colour pattern on there. So yeah, that's a really nice looking bait, live target, nice rattle, and uh, yeah, catch us some big old perch this year hopefully. I mean, it's 90% chance that's going to be uh, in the bottom of a canal or a river somewhere, but before that happens, hopefully it does get some big perch. So next, what have we got? We've got a Strike King. Don't remember ordering Strike King, but we did. Um, Kevin Van Damme, uh, Shallon Running Square Bill. Um, I'm sure I had loads of square bills, but not seen that many, but yeah, whatever. Um, so, yeah, that's three foot, 1.5 inch, which is 45 mil, something like that. It's quite a, quite a deep body on that. Um, pretty sure you can get these over in the UK as well. Um, but yeah, I ordered it from uh, Tuckleworths for whatever reason. So yeah, that's the KVD V1. We've got three baits left now. Get through these quick. What have we got? A Lucky Strike Rick Lung Classic. Um, another little square bell. Not sure the size of this one, but it's USA made. So yeah, nice bait. But it looks around the same size, sort of 45, 50 mil. So yeah, another square bell. Again, for perch fishing. Last two baits, another reaction strike, same as the other one I showed you guys, um, just a different colour, same size and everything. So yeah, and then the last bait, we have Profound Outdoors, Brazy Suspending Jerk, um, three and a half inch. So, holding this out, again I can't remember ordering this, it's another shallow jerk bait, nice bit of rattle, feather trailer, nice white colour, um, yeah. Very rattly that actually. So yeah, that's it. Loads and loads and loads of uh, baits to be playing with there. Pretty excited to use quite a few of them. Some of them I'm not too fussed about, but yeah. Like I say, I'm excited to skill up my hard bait game this year. So uh, yeah, that's the reason for this order of stuff, you know. Um, improve my hard bait fishing, learn about hard bait fishing. Um, and yeah, to do that you need hard baits. So yeah, that's gonna do it, a little unboxing video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I quite enjoy doing these unboxing videos. Um, and yeah, you guys get to see the baits that hopefully will be coming up on the channel over the next year. You know, we've got a couple of the pike ones that I plan on using soon and then you know, over spring and summer and stuff, we'll try and work through all the cranks and everything like that. So, um, yeah, that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and yeah, not much else to say. So, yeah, catch you guys in the next video.